Hi, good evening, Mr. Mohammed Sabir. Uh, hi, good evening, sir. How are you? I am good, thank you. Thank you okay. very much. First of all, congratulations on passing the PMP examination with you know above target score uh, in your first attempt. Right, there is a okay. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Great. So, and also thank you for you know deep provide agreeing to provide a debrief for the future PMP aspirants. So, Mr. Mohammed Sabir is working at the, as a HICT administrator with Ahmad Medical Corporation. He finished the training with us a few months back and two days back, 13th, sorry, 12th of uh, March, he passed the PMP examination. So everybody's turn is unique. So let's hear from Mohammed Sabir, like how he prepared for the examination and how the real examination was and how it went, you know, like how he managed to get like above target in all three areas. Shall we start with your preparation? Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to thank you for supporting us and motivating uh, uh, me and many aspirants of PMP uh, who want to uh, uh, gain knowledge and attain the certification. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, B-Site is the right uh, platform for us uh, to uh, learn PMP and it is a great privilege to uh, uh, to meet and know Mr. Angel uh, because he has uh, given a very wonderful training to us, uh, which is the uh, basic uh, stepping stone for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Sabir. Yeah. And uh, I also like to uh, uh, tell to all the fellow uh, colleagues uh, and the members of B-Side that uh, you have chosen the right platform to learn PMP and you have uh, attempted and you have succeeded in uh, taking your first step towards your PMP. Great. That's, uh, that's uh, yeah. So first training, getting a proper training is the first step towards PMP. That's right. Yeah, uh, so coming to my experience after uh, taking the uh, uh, training, then I was very much frightened of uh, whether the the, core, the examination will change because already uh, 2021 has passed and 2022 has come in, uh, but uh, the exam pattern has not yet been changed and it is the remain the same. And um, uh, I will give a feedback that the exams are uh, are really uh, good, uh, it is achievable. And uh, it is, uh, if you are determined and if you have gone through the concepts and it is a uh, achievable target. Great, good advice. That, that, that's the right thing to do, great. So how you prepared for the examination, what materials you used? Can we go through the process of preparation? Yeah, I have done two rounds of preparation. Uh, first round of preparation, which I have done using the Excel sheet, uh, which, which you have provided to me. I have gone through the books. Then after going through that preparation, uh, which took me a long time, maybe more than two months to complete that, uh, because mm -hmm. we can only afford to give uh, two hours time per day or maybe uh, eight hours per week. Uh, I think which is not, which which is which was very less. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that has given a very low confidence in me. Then later on, I have gone through the debriefing sessions, which we are, I'm doing right now, which helped me is that first we have to go through the video uh, and the recordings which Mr. Angel has given us. That is very important because you will have the very essence in the three hours lecture is very important. And the second thing which I have done is using pen and book. I have noted down all the points which Mr. Angel was saying. And then I found when I went to the second round of uh, uh, my preparation using the videos, then I can recollect what I have studied in the book. And then I found that going through the videos is more useful and more prominent and more specific because when you hear and when you write at simultaneously, it will help you. Great. So you have gone through the video. So first round, you have followed our plan, what we gave in the Excel sheet to go through the book so that you told was a little bit slow. So it took a long time. So you have watched the debrief of other participants and you have followed their debrief that, you know, going through the video and making notes of that. Yes. So Great. the first point I will make uh, all of our colleagues who are watching this to go through the video first. Please mm -hmm. go through the videos at least twice and uh, not only hearing at the same time making the notes uh, simultaneously. 
Right. So watch the video. I mean, the class recording what we are sharing and make yeah. like, notes, key points, make notes of note of that. Yes. So okay. I have completed one complete book, uh, but it was very helpful. And the video of uh, the Agile I have gone through thrice. That was mm -hmm. easy to understand and it is very good. And before exam, uh, just no need to go through the videos, just go through the uh, text what you have written in the books. That is more than enough for exam to pass. Uh, the notes what, you, notes what you took during the video, during the watching of the video. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the point number one is uh, watch the video. Point number two is write down the notes. And uh, point number three is we have something called uh, exam and content outline. That mm. is uh, people, process, and business environment. And it is very clearly specified that people contains 42% uh, of marks, process contains 50% of the marks, and the business environment contains 8% uh, of the marks. Okay. And that holds true. That means out of 180 questions, you will have 90 questions out of process and uh, 75 out of people and 15 out of in business environment. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's and a, the best exact part is, split up. Yeah. Yes, and the best part is people which constitute uh, 42%, that is 75 marks, is easy to gain and easy to achievable. And coming to process, which we all fear that how to remember, memorize, uh, what is the input, what is the uh, tools and techniques, and what is the output. Uh, I will tell that please do not panic on this because knowing the process, how do you uh, initiate, plan, execute, monitor and control and uh, close. That is important. And process we always, we've been learning through the videos, like what are the uh, knowledge areas, mm -hmm. whether it is scheduling, procurement, uh, risk. So all these are coming within the processes which is coming in the exams. So uh, I don't think they are very big and uh, analytical questions and they are very simple to analyze. Okay, so process-based questions are basically, uh, you know, like not no need to memorize anything, just understanding the initiation planning and the processes will be enough. No need to memorize anything. And you mentioned that, you know, people said also was okay, uh, was, was simple as well. Yes, coming okay. to the exam, real exam questions, the exams questions are very simple. All the questions out of uh, 180, you will have uh, uh, around 40 to 50 questions, which are straightforward and remaining one to 120 to 140 questions, you will have a situation. The situation mm -hmm. is very simple. They will tell you that this is not happening. And mm -hmm. this went wrong. So what the project manager do? Okay. Right. So this is what kind of questions you will get. What the project management the manager has to do. The second mm -hmm. question you will get, the, what the team has to do. Okay. So they were questions and from then, both project manager's perspective and the team's perspective. Yes, and you will have more questions on what project manager has to do mm -hmm. and what the project manager has to do first. First, oh, okay, okay, prioritizing. Prioritizing that and, uh, and uh, you will get all kind of scenarios that your sponsor has changed, now how you will deal. Mm -hmm. Now your sponsor has changed and he wants to come back from Agile to again, uh, predictive uh, mm -hmm. analysis, so what okay. you will do. So okay. this kind of questions I got. Okay, okay, so sponsor is changing or you're changing the scenario, I mean, so the methodology from predictive to agile, then how, how will you manage that situation? Okay. Yes, okay. so now as I already uh, told that, the questions are coming from the people, process and business environment, and we are having exam content outline. Hmm. So if you go to the exam content outline, you are prepared with the exam. Okay, so the exam content outline is the blueprint of the examination. If you go exactly. through that and you ensure you understood everything, you are ready for the examination. Exactly, yes. Like if you go in the people's side, you have to manage conflict. So we will have a question on that. And you will mm -hmm. have a question on how to lead a team. Mm -hmm. And how you will support your team. You will have questions on servant leadership. Okay. And you so, will have, uh, uh, how you will empower your uh, uh, members, how do you will motivate, how you will uh, recognize their efforts, mm -hmm. how you will build a team, how you will do the appraisal. Uh, I, okay. I think it's all uh, what is there in the outline of every line has a question in the exam. Oh, okay. So that's how the, the questions are formed. Okay. Okay. Yes. Great. How you negotiate, how you will collaborate, 
how you will uh, build a shared understanding in the virtual. Mm. So in virtual, you'll get at least uh, four questions. Four questions about work, managing virtual team. Virtual team. Again, you will get a couple of questions on the ground rules. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's basically uh, that blueprint. That is, that is the basic for the examination. Yes, please. I will request and recommend everybody to go through the uh, domain task 1 to uh, 12 because very mm -hmm. important. Each line will have a question for sure. Like if you okay. have, you will get question on impediments, you'll get questions on obstacles or blockers, any one of them, but you'll get one mm -hmm. question for sure. Okay, okay. That That's a good advice. You know, uh, for those who are going for the examination, uh, the, those who are watching this video can understand, yes, the exam content outline is the is a blueprint. If you understand those tasks mentioned there, you are ready for the examination. Yes, and coming to the process side, you will have all the questions from managing communications, identifying your stakeholders. Once you do this process, again, you'll go back to your lessons, what we have uh, learned, what Mr. Anthony has given us, how to, what is power grade, how to handle, uh, whom to handle, when to handle, and mm -hmm. uh, what is budget, uh, what is resource, and what is schedule, and uh, okay. how integration will be done. So each line will have one uh, question, and you will also have questions on the artifacts and oh. uh, learnings and okay. uh, and you have, i also got a couple of questions on methodology how to oh. identify which methodology will you use uh, mm -hmm. to uh, start with this uh, project project okay have you got any calculation based questions yes i got uh, two calculation based questions but they're very simple and straightforward and we did not do any calculation it is just we have to understand what is the cpi given and we have to tell what is the status Okay, so it's basically the earned value management based questions you received, yeah, you got in the exam. Question, I got one. Okay, so how, how, have you got a few like multiple correct answers questions or all only one correct answer question? Multiple correct answer questions I got where you have to select two and hmm. it is very easy to uh, eliminate two, but it is very okay. difficult to come to a one answer. So ah, when you okay. have a choice, it's easy for you because you have already got the concepts clear. Okay, so so normally in the question will be mentioned, right? How many correct answers are there? Choose two or choose three will be mentioned there. Yes, it is clearly it is. if you will have a tick box and you will not able to uh, allow three. If you are saying two, it will not allow you three. Oh, it will allow only two. Okay, that's that's a good point actually. Any any hot spot meaning graph based questions you got picture clicking yes, on the picture? I got, I got, yes, I got one uh, a burn down chart and they oh. told me this is a plan and this is the actual and what is the current status and what is okay. the action you're going to take. Oh, okay. So you got this burn down chart and based on that, you know, like what you will be doing. Great, great. So uh, what about business environment? Mainly yes. the questions will be from compliance and, area. Uh, Yes, from business environment, which I missed earlier, uh, he, it is uh, morely about the support organization change. It is mostly oh, okay. it is supporting the organization change, and it is also coming for the regulations and the geopolitical. They are saying that I have uh, you are doing a project, and the project manager has changed. That means you have come in now, and you find that there is an uh, that uh, one of the most important stakeholder, that is the community or the school or the peer, people nearby, is not included. So mm -hmm. what will you do as a project manager? Okay. okay, so it's mainly the project manager's responsibility, you know, like what they're asking, what they're looking for. Right, right. Yeah. Great. Yeah, so you... 99.9% you... .9 is uh, as a project manager, what will you do? Okay, okay. So you practiced questions before the exam, like simulation exams in the LMS? Yes, I have done uh, mock 0, 1, 2, 3 earlier. Before okay. exam, I have done three. And okay. I have also gone through the 180 questions of the Agile before exam, one day before. Okay. Again, I have reviewed them. Okay. Uh, right. But, Comparing uh, to the real exam questions, uh, are they close to the practice questions you had in LMS and Agile, or it's a little bit different? Uh, I think they are much more uh, easier and better to analyze and respond uh, than in LMS and uh, Agile, because they are mostly focusing on the process. But here, was I, as I told earlier, the question, what you will get is the situation, and the situation okay. is not right. That means okay. uh, something is not correct. So what is the action you're going to take is the uh, essence of the exam. Okay, great, great, very good. Like so, how will, what will you do to minimize the cost? As a project management, what you will do to minimize the cost? 
as the project okay. manager how what will you do to bring the project in track back mm -hmm. and uh, like that questions were that questions so how about the time management you could finish all the questions within the specified duration three hours 50 minutes yes uh, as as uh, as i heard through the earlier briefing that i have to take a break so i took the coffee with me so i completed my first 60 questions in uh, 80 to 90 minutes 90 minutes mm. yes oh 90 then minutes okay. yes 90 minutes because i went slow i read the questions twice mm. and uh, um Earlier in the debrief, I got to know that we have to learn, first you have to see the keywords, what should the project manager do, or what mm. the project manager do first, or what oh. accept or should not do. This oh. kind of questions, which has been, what is the ask? So we have to identify mm. what is the ask, and we have to analyze what is the situation. Okay. Then okay. the answer is itself is easy to predict. Great, great, very good. So now, what is the, what will be your, you know, final advice to the future exam take case aspirants. If they do this, they will be surely passing the examination. What is that? Yeah, uh, I am after completion of the, this exam, then I found that that uh, there is a fear in me which has stopped me from completing and writing the exam. So okay. I request uh, everyone to first book the exam, maybe 30 days to 40 days time. Uh, with an, uh, with an uh, uh, requisite that they have at least two hours to three hours time to study every day. Two hours okay. is ideal, three hours is good, and if you are spending more than three hours is uh, best. Correct. So after the, after the training, if they spend two to three hours a day, within three to four weeks or within one to two months, they can be a certified professional. That's what you are saying from your experience. Yes, for me, I have gone through 15 videos. 15 videos took me 15 days time. Ajay <laughs> took me another two days time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so 17 days gone. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, LMS questions I tried, but I failed. But okay, failed means I'm not very happy with that. That I did not get more than 80. I okay. Less than 80. Okay. Uh, so but again, uh, uh, so then I came back to the questions outliner, exam outliner. For that, I have taken uh, five days time to go through okay. point by point to check what, what could be the possible questions. Oh, okay. So that's a good way of preparation, going through the exam content outline and checking, okay, from this area, what kind of questions you make it in the exam and in accordingly preparing for the examination. Okay, great. That that is a, an excellent way of preparation. In fact, that's unique yeah. as well. I haven't heard from others they did that, but that's a unique way of preparing. You know, that's great. And then okay. I found that uh, ninety nine percent of the exam is exactly as per exam content outline. So there is no question you will not get out of it. You will get each and every line. You will get a question. So great. number of process equal to number of exam questions. Okay, great. That that is a that is a good information actually for all those who are preparing for the examination. No, great, very good. And once again, thanks a lot take, for taking a, a time from your you know busy schedule. I know tomorrow tomorrow you're flying, right? You're going for vacation. Yes. I'm yeah. So within that, you allocated like some time for us to help the future aspirants. Happy journey. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Anthony. Thank you for your time and your support. Uh, because of your continuous support and effort, it, which has given a zeal and enthusiasm that we have to complete. But once you reach, achieve, then only you'll come to know that uh, it is uh, uh, there is no point of worrying or to fearing back. I think Great. if you can complete the our videos, writing the, uh, the, the concept once and going to the exam outliner, this one, two, three steps will surely give a flying clearance to each and every one. Excellent piece of advice to all the future, future PMP aspirants. And it's no fear, no need to have fear. If you follow these three steps, you will surely pass the examination. So as you know, B-side so far, it's a 100% pass rate in the last, now it's the 15th month from January 2021 to March 2022, we have 100% pass rate. And it's really good to hear from a professional like you that, you know, the exact process, what you followed and how they helped you in, in the examination and the advice you are giving for the future exam take case. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anthony. And I thank you again and again. You're welcome. Thanks a lot for choosing us for your PMP training as well. And happy journey. Thank you, sir. See you. Thank you. Bye.